must kill them all. Every shrine maiden. I can't stand their eyes. I must gouge them out. They haven't seen too much. Oh no, do not tell me. This dumb bitch. Ah, oh, fuck. No. Fuck. Get bent. Thanks, Chan. Have a good one. Be safe. That was terrifying. Holy crap. Oh god, thank god we got back. Safe and sound. Oh cool, Rim came to help us. Don't care. Get the carrots. Get the carrots. Did you get more potatoes too? Okay. We go. No, no, this place isn't trying to kill her. We're out of the forest now.
俺は帰るユリも少し休めええおやすみなさいおやすみああ。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Oh, fuck, no. It's a dream. It was a dream. False alarm. Good lord. Big bag of nope. Oh, Haruka's gonna be long gone. <laughs> That's a mood. Get ready for a lot of it. Shocker, she's gone. Yeah, I told you. She's already fucking. Look at me. I'm so fucking smart. This bitch is already gone. Yeah, and her friend's pushing her to go there. Shocker. Yuri finds the missing Haruka Momose in a world aquarium of Kate in a cave. Beneath the shrine of dolls, she takes the girl back to the shop. Haruka is in no state to talk and can't explain what happened to her. That night, Haruka is visited by Fuyuhi's ghost, which takes her back to the mountain. Shocker. Nice. Hello, Blitz.
failed house, Ren Hojo. In the course of their investigation, Ren and Rudy, Ren and Rudy, 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 I don't know why I keep saying Rudy. Ren and Rui uh, learn of Keiji Watarai, a folklorist who settled on Mount Hikami. His writings are certain to be a treasure a trove of information about the mountain and its particular folklore. Ren and Rui happen to uh, happen across a videotape that may just indicate the way to Watarai's house. Yeah, this morning she was like, she didn't look like she felt good, so I was like, you, you feel okay, Sophia? She goes, yeah. And I was like, I was like, do you want to go to school? She's like, no, ma'am. I'm like, no, she didn't. She did go. Um, I took her temperature. She wasn't running temperature. It was just she's the same as she's been the last like three days. Yeah. That's why I was kind of like just wondering if she was like overtired or something. And she was like, she was. I was like, so you want to go? Home? You don't want to go to school? Like you want to stay home? She goes, stay home. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, I love you. <laughs> you got in the bowl. Oh, dragon fruit, star fruit. So exotic. <laughs> A few he took her own life, and Rui attempted suicide. The ghost of a shrine faint. Shrine Maiden appeared on both occasions. Yuri spoke of a black box that she found in Haruka, ha found Haruka trapped in. There's a key to all these events in the, uh, lie in the mountain's dark past. A folklorist, Keiji Watarai, uh, used to live there. His notes may shed some light on this mystery. The videotape uh, Rui found is on the desk. It seems to be related to like folklorist. I should take a look at it. Fuck, I hate stuff like that. <laughs> Found footage shit. Again. Oh, my God, that would have scared the shit out of me, too. Simple little thing. Right next to me, out of a phone that's probably not supposed to be hooked up. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, fuck. He didn't even notice it. Fuck that. Hell no. Oh my god. He's gone now. Again, Ooh. Japanese horror is so fucking subtle. It's so good.
Japanese horror is so subtle about things and like yet it's just absolutely nightmare inducing. They don't rely on jump scares nearly as much. I mean it happens but it's not like their main source of scares. Yeah. It got, sir. There's a report written in Ruby's handwriting along with commentary on the village. The diary found at the old man own old inn mentioned a folklorist who lived in Mount Hikami. I found more information on him, including his name, uh, in books on the occult. This folklorist, Keiji Watarai, uh, went to the mountain due to his obsession with the mysteries and secret uh, of the sect living there. He then went missing, as mentioned in the diary, and rumors about what happened to him uh, about what happened to him abound. Sophia? Yes, baby. Ooh, what you got? What is this? Lemon and cake? <laughs> they say that he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled on something the mountain wanted kept hidden, so his entire house was swallowed up by the mist. This is the origin of one of uh, Mount Hikimi's more recent stories of haunted house. My nanas, thank you, Sophia. Your nanas? Mama's nanas. Mama's nanas. Thank you. You can sit. You can sit there at the chair. Yeah. Are we gonna eat? Eat. Sitting at the table. Sitting at the table. Sitting at the table. Oh. Now what's in my bowl? Mama. <laughs> Thank you, baby. While the veracity of this is unclear, I looked into a videotape left behind by someone who stumbled across the house. The video is apparently famous in occult circles. I contacted the publisher and received the following response. Yes, baby. Thank you. Woo! Dear Rui Kagamiya, thank you for contacting us. The video you were looking for is no longer in print, but there are some copies in our warehouse. This video prompted a huge amount of feedback from customers. The tape was found near a river in, uh, on Mount Hikami. It is known who unknown who filmed it. They were there were many sections too damaged by water to be usable, so we took what was left and edited edited it together. The master copy of the video was confiscated by the police. They conducted a research of the mountain, but were unable to find who shot the film or even the house's location. Now that entering the unfathomable forest is prohibited, we advise you not to look. Uh, advise you not look into this on your own. Koji Kami Kakimoto Sui Gensha Film Division. I believe the building visible at the start of the video is the Shrine of Dolls. After that, we see what seems to be a cave, but it's hard to make anything out. After that, we see what seems to be a cave, but it's hard to make anything out. From the large number of books seen in the house, it is likely that it really is the former house of Keiji Watarai. Fuck you. Hojo desu. Oh fuck, he's in the house? That guy motherfucker. <laughs> お前が。ああ。随分急な話だな。おめでとう。それで相手は俺が知ってる人。
写真を見た時から What the fuck, bro? Oh shit. No, 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 too much. Too much. Can't do that. That's too much food. This is full. It's full. The Veil House. From the Shine Balls into a cave. This may be the root, some, same root you're Hey, yeah, see? I told you. Too full. Oh, fucking hell. Mr. Hojo often cries out in his sleep. He won't tell me much, but it seems like he has a reoccurring dream about a ceremony from his childhood. As a young boy, Mr. Hojo said he spent a summer with oil chips at the base of Mount uh, sorry, Kagiroi. 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 He mentioned playing in, a, in an old house and a shrine and in a, an in the shrine in, on the mountain. And some kind of festival he went to. Mr. Hojo doesn't talk about his past much, but what he has told me I remember clearly. Is Jenny dreaming of that ceremony? I went to festivals as a child, but all I remember is having a good time. It doesn't sound like uh, the festival Mr. Hojo dreams about and is any fun. He often cries, don't look at me in his sleep. He's always had a hard time with people staring at him. He especially dislikes it when women look at him for too long. He won't even look at Miss Kurosawa or Miss Zucata in the eye sometimes. He doesn't have that issue with me, though. Are the women he's dreaming about really that frightening? Sakaki-san, <laughs> Sophia, Sophia, you're dropping it everywhere. end soon guys i'm getting really really tired so i might go take a nap before i hop into vr chat with my friends hey hey enough there's too much look sophia you're making a mess はい。今死んでるんだから。ワンボール。お兄ちゃん。みんなとさっき。お兄ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。お
Okay, I am hella tired. We are going to call it quits.